is November 9, 2021. So anyway, I gotta do a annual on a customer I do all the time. I know these people well. And a lot of my customers, you know, they're repeat customers. And they got a Juan McLean oil fired boiler. And uh, I think, I believe they got a power vent there. Let's go over there and do my thing, check on it. It's an annual, you, you know, you gotta keep up on them. It's, it's good to do an annual every year to keep up on them. A lot of these that I'm doing every year, I, I got them running, I got them running clean and lean and I know, I know what the story is with the filters and stuff. I check the oil flow, check my filters, and I always change the nozzle, clean the burner head, check the draft over the fire. If it's running clean, it might not be full of soot. Most of the time, it, it doesn't get full of soot if you're running them properly. And that's how I'm doing my things. I get a lot of, a lot of people, uh, a lot of trolls on the internet. Oh my God, you should change the filters every year. And I can't believe you're not doing this or that. And it's like. I don't give a shit what people say. I do what I do and that's how I fly. I only charge people for what they need. They don't need it, we let it, we kick the can down the road another year. That's how I operate. I mean, you don't like it? Go watch, go watch uh, Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse. Something else, I don't give a shit. You get a lot of, most 99% of the people are cool, but you get a couple of trolls that come through all the time. And, Leave the nasty emails and just ridiculous. Really ridiculous. I just laugh. Tell them to go fuck off. I don't need this shit. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots. It's a newer tank. Seven. It's been a couple of years since I did the, uh, the nozzle and stuff. It looks clean and all full of soot. That's good. Let me put a nail in there. Right, do a nozzle and check the oil flow. Yeah. Feeder looks good. You know, it ain't all black and burnt. That's a good sign. We got good pressure there at 12. I did change the tank. And uh, I think I might have did something with a zone valve here or something. This is what you want to do every year. Have it serviced. Keep up on it. So it's nice and clean. Seven sixteenths. Jet tube. for a couple of years. Some carburetor cleaner in there, and then this is what you want to use to clean all the stuff with is the carburetor cleaner. And it's good to clean, keep these clean, these electrodes.
good to keep this plate nice and clean. Three quarter and five eighths. Three quarter and five eighths. <clears throat> If the filters were all dirty, this would be all nasty. This type of head, I like to run a, a, set, a 45 degree or a 60 degree nozzle. This type of head. 45 is better. <clears throat> it's always good to keep this stuff nice and clean. So you know next time when you come if it's all running nasty, right? You don't clean it, you never know. <clears throat> they got nice points to them, see a lot of times they get burnt. That's good right there. To be right in the middle there, see it? Put the screw right there, that's good. It's hard to set this. You can see the mark I put there last time. This burner should be all set up with the size nozzle. Check our oil flow. I'm gonna draft over the fire. <clears throat> Let's see what we're getting for an oil flow here. Oh, 
tell us if our filters are, if we got any dirty filters. Our filters are still clean. Maybe we'll just turn up this low limit for now to get it to the run. On the high. flow filters are fine good draft over fire I and mean, it's not full of soot zero smoke running lean I'm running good like this so I'm gonna leave it I could rich it rich it out a little bit and bring them ohms down but we're fine there no issues the thing's been running running good pressure's good Feet is not stuck. I think I'm good with that the way it is. Protect it with the line and go for another year. It's not smoking. That's good. Zero smoke. I have oiled this pile until last year, I believe. See the ground's not all black. 